Now I'm going to add a detailed activity description below this uh, cook food use case. Um, that is really a, you know, a flow chart or you might say a process a business process model which shows the um, series of actions you go through to complete that cook food. Um, and that is actually a sub diagram within the, uh, the, the cook food use case itself. So I'm going to go across to the model explorer and actually add a, another diagram below the cook food use case. I right click on that and then select new diagram and then activity diagram. After a short period the activity diagram appears um, and it has a, a, a boundary uh, box um, and you need to expand that so you can draw some symbol symbology within it. And using that control flow, I'm simply going to um, connect the start to open door and the open door into put food into oven. That's the first of them. And that's the second. Um, your task now is to uh, replicate the full um, activity diagram from figure 3. Uh, one slight issue you might struggle with at this point is trying to find a decision node in the palette. Um, and I think it's not very well designed here because it's hidden. Um, but if you look under initial node and you pull down the and you expand that, Actually, these are, there's a whole variety of other different sorts of nodes in here, and the one you're looking for is the decision node, which comes at this point. Now I've added the uh, first few, the last uh, few lines and symbols. Um, to tidy this up, I'm just going to align these by selecting each of them and using the shift key so I can select multiple items. And there's a menu option which allows you to align um, uh, symbols on the page either you know, horizontally or vertically. I'm going to align them on their centers. Um, the final thing I've done here is label you notice the 
lines, the edges here, um, for the case when um, time counts down to zero, I've just put it in the uh, properties box, time is greater than zero, and here for this arc, I've uh, set the time greater than zero. And here we have the uh, completed uh, activity diagram, uh, which defines that use case. And uh, your task is to replicate that.